Hey, let me show you 15 the best features of the Realme GT6. So first of all, we are going to start from the settings. Now we'll have to scroll all the way down and here when we go to the Realme lab, we can actually find heart rate measurement. So once you open it, you have to accept the statement of use. And now you have to just put your finger on the sensor and your Realme is going to measure your heart rate. And we can also make some comparison into the Apple Watch. So take a look. Now it looks like I've got around 112.96. Okay, it actually showed me 108, but here I can find information on my Apple Watch that currently is around 80. So let's try to make it one more time and let's see if it is correct. Maybe that, that's actually some kind, some kind of a cool looking feature, but not working properly. Okay, as you can see right now, it actually lowered my beat rate, heart beat rate, and it's really close to the Apple Watch. So you have to also check it for a few times, but it looks like after you use it um, a few times, you will be able to actually um, to actually get the correct measurements. And now we can also set what you are doing. So I was resting, so you click save, and here we can even find the history of these measurements. So the next useful option that we can find in this Realme lab, that's dual mode audio. So we can connect two pairs of the headphones, so you can connect both a pair of the Bluetooth earphones and a pair of the wired and share the audio sound on the two devices at the same time. Pretty useful option. Next, we can also find here uh, the function that will improve game startup speed. So we have to go into the special features. Here we can find dedicated RAM for the games. And when we turn it on, we'll actually allocate the dedicated memory to, to make games open a little bit faster. So if you are playing games, it will be definitely useful for you. Now we are going for the charging habits. When you go for the battery and go into the battery health, we can actually find smart charging. So it will actually slow down the battery aging um, with some kind of the intelligent services that will learn our charging habits and adjust charging patterns accordingly. Next, we can also stop charging at 80%. So it will also slow down our battery aging. And when you're here, uh, we can also find the maximum battery capacity. So this is actually the battery health. Yeah, probably this is the first Android smartphone where we can check the battery health. Really nice and useful and informative feature. And when you are in the battery, you can also turn on the GT mode that will actually significantly improve the phone performers. Of course, it will actually consume more power, but it will speed up the phone with the stable smooth and battery efficient. Now uh, we can just go back from this one and now I want to show you apps and we can clone apps right here. Yes, you can actually clone any application. For example, if you want to use two WhatsApp accounts, you can for sure do this, but previously you will have to download this WhatsApp. Now we are going into the sounds and vibration where we can find uh, the spatial audio. So it will be available right here. As you can see, it's supported. So once you actually connect your headphones wireless, for example, uh, you will actually be able to enable the spatial audio. Pretty nice and useful feature. Now we are heading into the display and the brightness when we can find the refresh rate and we can manually set the 120 Hertz refresh rate for small, smooth visual effects. When you go back from this screen, uh, we can even find the bright HDR video mode. And this is actually thanks to the O1 Ultra Vision engine. So you will increase the screen brightness when you are playing some HDR videos, for example, on the YouTube. Next, we'll go into the wallpaper and the style. And this smartphone, we can actually find the edge lighting for incoming notifications. So it's just right here. And right now, when you just simply click on it, you can change the color of the lightning edges. In the next place, we'll be able to, of course, um, enter for the always on display with a lot of different presets. So yes, you can find here always on display and you can get all of these notifications and messages, information straight on your lock screen. So you will don't need to unlock your phone every time. Also, you can cast the screen of the smartphone straight into your TV thanks to the screen cast 
function. And also we can pay with the smartphone because we can find your NFC. And if you want to speed up your internet, you can also do this <coughs> by going into the Wi-Fi, then selecting Wi-Fi Assistant. And here you can find the dual channel network acceleration. So you have to actually use your mobile data and Wi-Fi and the smartphone is actually going to combine both of them and get out, get us uh, some faster internet experience. And the last option, that will be the additional tip that I want to show you, it will be definitely the air gestures. So, as you can see, we've got some system air gestures and we can make gestures from 20 to 40 centimeters from the front camera to control the phone. And when you go right here, we can also find in-app air gestures. So when we turn it on, uh, we are able to also turn on in-app air gestures. And it's actually really uh, recommended to actually learn these gestures, right? So learn how to scroll on the page, for example. We have to hold the palm up to the screen with fingers pointing up, just like this. And now, uh, after one or two seconds, we'll be able to make gesture like this. And that's all for this video. Right now, please subscribe to my channel.